So the way my filter, I guess that's the best way of saying it, is like I just did this recent Peter Pan piece. Well, there's a million Peter Pans. You know, there's full color. There's, you know, make it look like it's just out of a movie. Make it, you know, all these different, uh, different ways of doing it. But for me, my thing is always, I imagine myself walking into Walt's office and Walt saying, okay, no, I got a new one for you. All right, what do you got? I got Peter Pan. Okay, wh what are you thinking? It's got to be out of the box. Go, out, go, go play. Go make something different. Take some risk, but give me something I haven't seen before. All right, well, that's a tall order. But I impose that upon myself when I go out in the studio and I sit down and I'm looking at a blank canvas and I go, but I can see them instantly now in my head. So after 25, 26 years of doing this, the idea of taking an idea of, hey, we got an event and it's tied around Tiki or hey, Peter Pan or whatever, Im immediately I see images in my head. It's just a matter of me just painting them now. So I've got, I've got so many things this year that are about to come down the line that um, they're just filed away. It's a matter of just spitting them out. But that filter of what would Walt say to me now when it comes to, hey, keep the integrity of the character, tell that story. You have to have enough, you gotta have enough in there to where it's relatable. There's a lot of interpretive art for, let's say, Disney. You can do Warner Brothers, you can do all these brands. You can, um, you can take stuff from films and do interpretations of it. But at the end of the day, you gotta remember guests and collectors and Disney fanatics are wanting to see their character. You know, a little girl can walk up and go, ah, that's cool, I know it's supposed to be about Cinderella, but that's really not her. You know, I'm gonna give you Cinderella, but then I'm gonna give you in the world of Noah, heralding Cinderella on the true legacy of who she is and how she started from Walt. So does that make sense? It's almost like I'd look at it as one big collaboration. What would Walt do and how did he do it? And what would he be doing today if he had the resources, technology, and materials sitting in, in front of him? And that's why I respect the Imagineers so much. A lot of my friends that work there, um, creatively, entertainment, parks, logos, graphic design, um, building the attractions. I have such a respect for them because they're doing that same thing too. They're pushing the envelope constantly. What can we do that hasn't been done before? What, could, what would Walt be doing if he had these materials in front of him? How can we take it up the next level and outdo ourselves to where people walk in and go, you gotta be kidding. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by and watching BeliefNet. Um, it's been great being here, I appreciate you watching. You can also uh, check up, keep in touch on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and my website, noahfineart.com, and I can be found on social media with Noah Fine Art. Thanks for watching and glad you were here.